The other thing that you comment upon relative to leases, other than rent, everyone always thinks rent and term are, are the most important elements of a lease. You suggest that the use of the space as defined in the lease or not defined in the lease can be the second most critical element in a lease. And Oh, I'd even say in a retail lease it's the most important element. And in a commercial lease it's probably the third most important after rent and term. Use of space is important. Think about it. This is my asset. And I'm not going to find the first question is what what are you going to do with it? Right. I mean, and you can, even in an office building, what, you're going to grow mushrooms in it and uh, use, bring in truckloads of manure in my office building every day and grow mushrooms in it? that's going to have odors and so forth on other users and it's going to make my building a lot less attractive. That's my asset. And yes, you're paying me, but you're paying me a flow. I own the whole asset. The issue becomes even, you can imagine in warehouses, if I have a non-sprinkler building, mm -hmm. you can't store flammables or fireworks or ammunition because I, I, I you know, I can't have that, right? Or y you can have restrictions that you I won't take certain uh, radioactive stuff and store it. In my office buildings, I don't want somebody doing radioactive research. In, I mean, I don't mean radioactive in the sense of formulas. I mean real research, right? Right. Splitting atoms. That's my space. Now, yes, these are extreme, but that's why you take care of the extreme, use is critical. You couldn't pay me enough, right, for some of the noxious uses. What, I'm going to let the Ku Klux Klan and the Nazis, um, and, and they're going to be able to put their signs all over the place on my high quality office building? Of course not. I mean, right. it'll drive my business. It's fine. So. Uh, I get an extra three dollars a foot from the Ku Klux Klan and the Nazi to be in my prime building, and 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 I have guys with white hoods and swastikas walking in all day. They'll kill my building, right? They right. Just I won't be able to lease it. That's my asset. And then in retail, it's just totally transparent that it all depends on synergies. Great retail, at least, all depends on creating synergies. That the shoe stores and the clothing stores and the sporting goods stores and the general goods stores and the food and so forth and so on. And the example I always use is um, uh, signage and the usage of my space becomes critical because you might do something that attracts a lot of people. Let's say we put a firing range in the middle of the best shopping mall. You know, you rent 2,000 feet and you put a, a target range inside your 2,000 feet in my center. Mm -hmm. And then you put a big sign of naked people out in front of it. You'll destroy all of my normal retail business in a million square foot mall because people are going to be offended by the pictures of naked people, though you might draw a bunch of 18 and 20 year old guys with tattoos who want to shoot pistols. And so fine, they pay me two bucks a foot extra on 2,000 feet and 990,000 feet are being destroyed in the process. It's my space. What you do in my space, I got to make sure doesn't destroy value. Now, as long as it doesn't destroy value, then that's less important. And that's why in retail it's more important because you don't just, in, in office and warehouse, it's noxious, it's dangerous type of stuff. I, I prohibit. In retail, I got to make sure you don't tell me that you're opening up a food store and then open up a shoe store instead because I'm trying to balance the number of shoe stores I have mm -hmm. and the number of food stores I have. And, I, and that's my job. And I need to control that. 